So in case of ASD, which is one of the important causes of non-cyanotic congenital heart disease, usually basically pathologically there is a hole between left atrium and right atrium. As a result of this, the blood will move from left atrium to right atrium. Okay, so this is the first thing. Because of the left atrium almost equal right atrium pressure, so the pressure here equal the pressure here. As a result of this, you will not hear any murmur. So no murmur in case of ASD as a pathology. In case of ASD as a pathology, you will not hear any murmur. Okay, so this is first. Second, imagine, second, imagine you will have now amount of blood again comes from left atrium to right atrium and the same amount of blood, no, actually it's not the same. Now the right atrium, now right atrium receive more and more and amount of blood. So now the amount of blood, now again, the amount of blood in the right atrium is increased. Why? Because already right, so amount of blood in right ventricle is increased. Why? Because already right atrium release, uh, receive blood from left atrium. So the end result is this, you will see more blood volume in the right ventricle. As a result of this, the final target is you will see more and more blood, more and more blood in where? In the pulmonary, in the, sorry, yeah, more and more blood in the pulmonary artery from the right ventricle. As a result of an increasing blood flow in the pulmonary artery, you will hear a murmur called ejection systolic murmur. So again, an increase the blood flow and increase blood flow across pulmonary artery across pulmonary artery what's the type of murmur here it is ejection ejection systolic murmur okay ejection systolic murmur you will hear this murmur in the right in the left second intercostal space that's mean in pulmonary area okay so this is very very important now let's go let's go back to another picture which is also VST also VST and let's let's draw here tricuspid valve this is tricuspid valve between right atrium and right ventricle so what's going on in this picture is again here is the left atrium from left right atrium pressure here you will have a right atrial um, right atrium sorry the blood will move from left atrium to right atrium here you will have now again much blood much blood will go to the right ventricle this blood now will hit will hit the tricuspid valve or, or comes across the tricuspid valve as a result of this increasing amount of blood that's hitting or coming across the tricuspid valve. Now you will hear, you know, this all amount of, you will hear another type of murmur, which is diastolic crumbling. So why I have diastolic crumbling? Because I have an increased blood flow across the tricuspid valve. As a result of this increasing blood flow of this tricuspid valve, I will hear now diastolic. Now I hear I hear diastolic rumbling. I hear a diastolic rumbling type of murmur, which is basically in the tricuspid area. Final things, and again the same picture. Usually it is the same picture, but I just draw it three or four times because we need to make it clearer. So again, the same thing, the same amount of blood now or more amount of blood comes to the right atrium and more amount of blood comes to the right ventricle. As a result of this, again, you will have more and more and more increasing blood in the where, in right ventricle. As a result of this pulmonary valve here, it is the one, now the problem in the pulmonary valve. As a result of this pulmonary valve, they say, pulmonary valve said, okay, Please, I cannot accept more blood. I cannot. So I need a time. I need a time to close my valve. Why? Because I cannot close my valve in the same, in the same time, like in, for example, 10 seconds. I need another 15 seconds or let's say to only close my valve. Why? Because now I have more blood coming to me. So please, I cannot close my valve in the same time give me another two or three minutes because i have now more, more volume as a result of this i will hear white fixed splitting s2 so again why white fixed splitting s2 because excess because excess blood on the right ventricle so excess right ventricular blood will go to the pulmonary artery now i will have delay i will have delay closure of delay closure of pulmonary of pulmonary valve as a result of this delay closure of this pulmonary valve now i will have now i will hear wide fixed woods wide fixed splitting of s2 so now i and now i think there are four 
Four features which are easy, why wide fixed splitting of S2 because delay closure of pulmonary valve, the second one diastolic rumbling because the tricuspid valve more blood, and the third one is pulmonary valve more, pulmonary artery more blood, that's why I will hear ejection systolic murmur, and basically in ASD as a pathology I will not hear any type of murmur. Last but not least, the most common, the most common type of atrial septum defect is second dam type is second dam type but in case of down syndrome in case of down syndrome is primum type so in case of down syndrome is osteum primum type is much common and usually with endocardial cushing defect which usually with endo cardial Cushing defect in case of ASD so in, in case of Down syndrome so again Down syndrome patient primum type is much it's, it's much common but all over most common is second dam type of ASD